guys, what's up? Ben from Magpie Surf here. Today, um, you know, I'm really just tired of looking at my hubcaps in my car. I'm really, it, like, it makes it look so girly. So I think we're going to take at least two of the hubcaps off today and paint two of the wheels. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it looks. I think, I think we're going to jacks. I only have two regular, like, common jacks for this car. Um, it makes things a little difficult to do two wheels at a time. Um, but, yeah, I think we still have to go and get some white paint. I have, like, every color spray paint in my garage, like, that you can think of, like, purple and green and blue, pink, magenta, um, baby blue, olive, you know, whatever. The only one I don't have is white semi-gloss. Uh, I only have white oil-based for painting wood, so I can't use that. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to hop in the car. I don't, I don't even really know where I'm going to go and buy the paint. I'm still kind of debating whether or not I want to go to the local store in town, which is pretty expensive. I'm thinking like they might have old paint, or it might just like be worth it to take the extra 15 minutes and drive to to like Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that and get some good paint. So I think that's what we're going to do. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Okay guys, so the, uh, the battery on my camera is like dying. So I'm just going to take this real quick. We're actually going to take a little bit of a longer trip. We're going to go to Walmart. Uh, we're actually on our way there right now. And we're going to see what different colors of uh, white they got and some some ultra clear, you know, some, some ultra, ultra clear uh, clear coat and I don't know maybe they'll have some some specialty kind of stuff um, maybe some different color like I was looking for like white glitter uh, rust-oleum but that it seems to be like pretty hard to find and it's really expensive to buy online I don't really feel like spending like $25 on a can of spray paint you know when I can just try to do like a shake box effect or something like that or load up a cheese grater or like a parmesan cheese shaker filled with like white glitter or something like that and just shake it on myself you know for a fraction of 20 something dollars and then clear coat it but all right we're gonna take a trip though so cheap and then they got all in one Krylon like paint and primer in one white I think that might be what we go with for the wheels might make this project a little easier they got satin white too ultimate coverage rust protection fast dry I don't know I'm gonna be here for a little while okay guys I think we have a color combination got Supermax all-in-one paint primer, indoor outdoor glitter blast, diamond dust by Krylon, and we got some crystal clear enamel. So we're gonna see how these wheels come out. Alright guys, so like both of my batteries for my, my Sony camera are dead right now. So I'm gonna catch you up base on what's going on. I couldn't believe I got these cans of glitter blast diamond dust. They look pretty white, right? These were like six seventy seven a piece. That's awesome. Um, the crystal clear enamel was under four dollars. Um, the white paint that I got, the it's like Krylon Supermax all in one paint primer. No sanding, but we're gonna sand them up anyway. Uh, indoor outdoor paint. Um, it's basically like all purpose masonry, plastic, laminate, wood, metal, uh, anything. So that's what we're gonna use to paint them up. Uh, so with the wheels, my hubcaps are still on. They say the best way to get the hubcaps off is to not like try to pry at it from here, but to like rather grip it and like pull it from the center. You could already see like the clips off wanting to come out where my my caps are tied on. So we're gonna take those ties off and pull the caps. 
caps off and then we're going to pull my wheels off and find a little spot in my garage where I can lay some paper down. Uh, maybe try to find some spare paper laying around here somewhere. Um, close my garage door, you know, maybe get these sanded up and, and get this project moving because it's starting to get kind of late in the day. I've worked tomorrow early, so these wheels need to be dry. <laughs> All right, guys, I have both my wheels off. Right there, I just washed them up, scrubbed them as much as possible. Um, waiting for them to dry down a little bit. I'm probably going to wipe them and speed up the process in a second. As you can't tell, my... Uh, garage is a freaking mess uh so i'm gonna need to spend a couple of minutes out here just like trying to straighten this thing up and uh kind of work out a space here where i'm going to spray because i don't want to get any overspray on anything that's out here and you know, i have a lot of like surfboards and things and my motorcycle and you know you know how it is you don't want to get overspray on everything that you own that's not cool but um all right I'll let you know. I just wanted to let you know what the progress was. Here's my wheels chilling. Okay, guys, so I got my spot all papered out here. I'm going to use these pieces of wood to walk over the newspaper. It kind of makes it so it weights it down and, you know, your feet don't pick it up as you walk over it, you know. They're just kind of scraps that I had laying around from other surfboard template building projects and stuff. So, um... That's going to be, you know, where I'm doing my painting. I have my bike covered, all the shit that I don't really care about. It's just, you know, hanging out. Um, so, now I need to sand, scuff my wheels up a little bit. I'm going to use some 220 for that. Uh, they're basically, you know, dry. Like, there's no water standing on them anywhere or anything like that. Um, so, I'm going to do that. I'm going to uh, scuff them up a little bit. And then... I guess I'll rinse them. I know it's kind of like time constricting. I just, I don't want any dust on them and I don't have any tack cloth and tack cloth is really like what you'd want to use. But even so there's like lots of little, like there's like that little inner rim, like where the weld is. Um, I just, all this like gunk is going to get clogged up in there. So I just figured I'll, I'll rinse these. Oh, and the wind's blowing my paper all over the place. All right, let me get back to work. Okay guys. Wheels are scuffed. I blew them off with the compressor instead of like washing them down again because I figured water getting in all the the scratches in the metal would probably just make like the paint rust through eventually. Um, so I blew them off and now I have some isopropyl rubbing alcohol. I'm just gonna wipe them down with that and then uh, I'm gonna try to paint them as soon as they're dry because it's it's starting to get a little bit later here. It's like almost four o'clock here on the east coast and uh it's starting to get dark so all right let me get back to work okay guys as you can see i just went ahead i uh taped these off newspaper and uh edge lock and uh, i went, away, went ahead and i put the first coat on you could see i print went pretty light because it's got that like silver shimmery effect like you could still see the black through it so uh I'm going to give this like 20 minutes to half an hour and I'm going to come back out and check on it and uh, probably give it a second coat at that point. All right. Okay guys, I'm covering my face in here because I left my mask somewhere. Uh, I just want to show you a little comparison between the two wheels. This is, this is second coat. That's still first coat. So you can tell it went a little bit heavier probably hard to see in here the lighting isn't the best even though I got a huge strip light behind me second coat first coat silvery white silverish white so I got a little bit more work to do I'm gonna put my second coat on the other wheel right now and then I'm gonna <clears throat> let it sit for another 20 minutes okay that's what it looks like a couple of layers of that glitter on already the clear coat I don't know if you guys can really see that it's really hard to see I don't have a flashlight in here right now to show you yeah look at that you can kind of see it shining but if I had a different light I'd be able to showcase it better Uh, 
space heater set up trying to cook this you know, clear coat enamel so I can spray the other sides of the wheels because it's, uh, it's, it's going on 8 o'clock and uh, I do have work tomorrow, I have to be there at 8.30 and uh, these, this side's still a little ticky, sticky from the uh, clear coat so I just want this side to be you know, relatively dry so I can flip them the paint that I use dries in like three minutes, but the clear coat takes like a half an hour, um, depending on like a 70 degree, uh, like temperature scale. And like I'd say right now, it's like 40 degrees outside, so it's, you know, it's struggling to dry in my garage a little bit. So I just want it to dry on the side, and I'm going to spray it with just the, uh, the Crime and Supermax all in one. Um, after that, on the opposite side. And just have it be like plain primer white, you know. It's it's gloss, so it'd be gloss white. It just won't have like the you know the sparkles like the glitter. Uh, but I wasn't planning on glittering that side anyway. So. so there she is, ladies and gentlemen. All that glittery sparkle effect. And my camera just doesn't do justice for it. Looking good, still rocking the hook caps in the back. Thank you. So now that my sweet ass white painted wheels are on the front, let's just take one more look. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just doesn't do it justice out here tonight. I'm gonna have to do a daytime shot. But we're gonna take a look at what else came today. Just give me one second. Put the camera down. Oh yeah, our good friend Liquid Wrench. Shout out to Liquid Wrench. This came in the mail right after Mom and I took our walk. I think I know exactly what it is. Double package. Necessary, right? Oh man! Look at that. Dragon Ball. How Japanese is that? So that's going on. I'm gonna put that on right now. We're getting pretty ricey. Thumbs this a video up if you uh, if you're down with the rice. Okay, guys. I'm just stepping out of my house. Right now, it's 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm on my way to work. And I just wanted to give you guys a shot of what it really looks like. Hubcaps, white wheels, I like it. I'm stoked. Definitely. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later, I gotta go. Alright guys, does any of this look familiar? I'm scuffing. I think... No, I didn't do these sides. I did the other, the opposite sides. I knew I didn't do this side on this wheel. I just wasn't sure about that wheel. So, I'm scuffing. What can I say? I'm out here. We are here. Hey, everybody. So, it's been a long couple of days. I had work yesterday on one of my regular days off. So, I went in at 8.30. That's when I last left off with you guys, I'm pretty sure. So since then I came home and I like scrubbed and scuffed up the other two wheels, the rear wheels, there they are, and painted them, flaked them, had a couple of problems like this surfboard like fell on them late last night and like left one little scuff mark so I had to kind of like cover that up, I had a little bit of paint left in uh, this primer can, the Supermax can. Now, this actually didn't make it all the way through all four wheels. I had to, like, borrow my mom's car, like, late last night and um, drive to Walmart. And uh, <laughs> she woke up in the middle of her nap and was like, Where, where's my car? It's all right. But uh, I ended up buying this stuff. Um, Krylon Cover Max White Gloss, Ultimate Coverage, Rust Protection, Paint and Primer. Um... 
I bought it because it was, you know, you got a little bit more in it, and it was, like, less money than the Supermax. And they didn't have the other Supermax stuff uh, at the store uh, when I went back. I should have bought two cans when I was there. Somebody must have came in and skipped the last couple of cans. So... I don't know, that's what I had to go with. I had to go with that stuff, and I don't recommend it. It's a little thin. You have to kind of, like, put five or six coats down before it's, like, finally completely covered. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and peel all this paper off and go ahead and start putting these wheels on. i do this all with my phone. Now I'm just going to peel those tape rings off real quick. Looks like I got some overspray on my wheel right there. It's okay. I've got uh, some graffiti remover around here somewhere. If not, I'll try to just scrub it off with something else. I don't know. Ugh, rough. Literally, guys, just took some, like, 220 grit sandpaper to that stuff and just kind of, like, buffed it off real quick. You barely can even, like, see any of that overspray anymore. There's a little bit there. The lower wheel, that's fine. I'll, I'll work at that with some alcohol or something. I'll probably come right off. Excellent, right? Awesome. So here's like all the aftermath from the week. Just a couple, actually, just a couple days. Really, all this freaking cardboard, overspray, all the bullshit. You know, luckily, I didn't get anything on my compressor, uh, nothing on my bike, on my wheels, or anything like that. Just the spots here, you know. But you could tell this thing looks way better. I mean, come on, way better than hubcaps. Way, way better than hubcaps. Probably gonna sticker bomb the side of this window here or something, like right here, or like back here in the corner. Some white vinyls and stuff, make it look real nice. I got my, I don't know if you guys can see that in there. My Dragon Ball shifter knob came in the mail, I put on. So, I'm digging it. If you like what you see, subscribe. If you felt inspired, you want to take your hubcaps off and spray them or plasti dip them or do anything. You know, I, I use just regular paint, but do whatever. Feel inspired. Do something. Glitter. Whatever. All right. Have a good one. Vin from Magpie Surf. Take it easy.